John chapter 14 Let not your hearts be troubled believe in God believe also in me In my father's house are many rooms if it were not so would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and will take you to myself that where I am you may be also and you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do, not, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me? Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. You know Him, for He dwells with you and be, and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you, at a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you, will, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and in you, in and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas not Iscariot said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring strength bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You hear me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. Chapter 15, Chapter 15. I am the true wine, and my Father is the wine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does be a fruit he prunes, that it may be a more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire. 
and burn if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples as the father has loved me so have i loved you abide in my love if you keep my commandments you will abide in my love just as i have kept my father's commandments and abide abide in his love these things i have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you greater love has no one than this that some day someone lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do what i command you no longer do i call you servants for the servants does not know what is what his master is doing but i have called you friends for all that i have heard from my father i have made known to you you did not choose me but i chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should be abide your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you these things i command you so that you will love one another if the world hates you know that it has hated me before i it hated you if you were of the world the world would love you as its own but because you are not of the world but i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you remember the word that i said to you a servant is not greater, greater than his master if they persecuted me they will also persecute you if they kept my word they will also keep yours but all these things they will do to you on account of my name because they do not know him who sent me if i had not come and spoken to them they would not have been guilty of sin but now they have no excuse for their sin whoever hates me hates my father also if i had not done among them the works that no one else did they would not be guilty of sin but now they have seen and hated both me and my father but the word that is written in their law must be fulfilled they hated me without a cause but when the helper comes whom i will send to you from the father the spirit of truth who proceeds from the father he will bear witness about me and you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning